Okay, hello boys, girls, and all in between, my name is Lucy McKenna, and welcome back to City Bus Manager once again. Now, I'm actually not going to record this entire part in one go, so what I'm actually going to do is quickly do an introduction bit here, because while I was about to start work off camera after the previous recording, which is when I'm recording this bit, um, I actually just noticed that both of those challenges that we could go for, they just achieved both at the same time at the very moment. I like When I stopped recording, it was about two minutes later. Um, so... We have a lot of big things we can pay for here. We have the mobile app development, which makes weekly tickets easier. Research, please. Uh, we can reduce fuel consumption and buster. We also have another double-decker bus we can research. Thank you. And we can research company premises expansion and map expansion. So I think we're going to prioritize map expansion first, because with company premises, we have not got an issue with at the moment. But we will save for that as well. Now, map expansion-wise, we must go to the west uh, here, so we can get Congleton finally. So let's do that. Um... But yeah, so I wanted to just do a little bit of an instruction point on that. I will then cut to me later this week when I record the rest of this episode. And when I get to that point, you'll probably see a bit more progress. But I've also just, I was just literally decorating the depot, as you can see here. I was just moving these and making some more parking spaces and stuff. And just as I was here, I was like, oh, I've got research at the bottom. Oh, there's six. And then I realized I had 320 trophies. I was like, ah, cool. But it does mean we are, we're now in a silver company, which is cool. And we're at 90% of people wanting to use it, which is amazing. We're a 4.1 star rating. So yeah, this is going really well. Anyway, so that's just my little brief intro bit. Uh, now to me in the future, where I hopefully won't forget that I've recorded this and do two intros, but I might do, so... I guess we'll see. Over to you, future me. Thank you, past me! Hello, this is future me, and I'm actually recording this on the same day because, well, I made a lot more progress than I thought I would. Um, plus, I thought it'd be worth actually explaining. So, um, I have done a bit of changes between parts. As you can see, all of these spaces here are gone, and these are empty apart from this one. There's a reason for this, if you go to our bus fleet, I have sold all the CETOs from our fleet. They are now gone, um, I will explain why in a very short moment, but what we have introduced is one in City LE, this was actually bought when I tried to get it off the screen, and it ended up accepting it, so I just thought we'll keep it in as the oddity of the fleet. Um, we have an Omni City as well, this is for good reason, we'll come back to that in a moment, but we also have these 05 NH, 0405 NHs, now the reason I bought these, um, because it, it came up as with the next unlocked bus. So not just for a variety, but if I can try and find one before it leaves. I don't think we're going to get one. I think they will run out, actually. Um, but they were basically... basically, I think they were out on shifts, aren't they? If they are, I'll explain when they come back. But when they come back, I'll show you why I chose them. Um, again, I mentioned him in a previous part. Um, mainly because his series was one of the big inspirations for me starting my one. But Joe Dobson uh, showed something in his video that made me realise that I need to start using them myself when I get them unlocked. Because I've had them unlocked on my up, up saves before. And I've actually used Merc plates from the UK um, temporarily on them. Um, but now I know what part they can represent. So you'll, if you know the plates well and you saw those plates then you'll know what they represent. Um, anyway, so we are getting Omni City Sims to fleet. Well, we got one. We need to get at least three before we can even think about the 38. But between parts, or as you saw at the beginning of the episode, I should say... We finally unlocked the area of Congleton down here, which is amazing. This does also open some new local circulars, and I think we'll try and introduce one of those in today's episode. Now, it'll be ironic if they need a CETO on that, but I think what we're going to do is just have the, all the routes we use now, uh, pretty much only use this. We might keep that one CETO in fleet, uh, put that on the route and see if it works, because I think I, the first route I'm going to do may only need one bus, and if and then if, if a CETO suffices on that route, we'll keep the CETO for that route alone. Uh, now, I did buy some extra buses between parts because I had to squeeze today's schedule together. Today's schedule is not perfect, uh, but what I've had to do is increase frequencies on a few routes because what was basically happening, if we look at all the routes here, so apart from the H1, the 2 was full to capacity, even with a normal sized bus, but also um, just in general, they were getting very busy uh, on the CETOs. So I put full size buses and then it did this. But the reason it was busy is because there was a lot of passengers waiting at the stops just to get into town. Um, and I then increased that by increasing the frequency vastly on the routes 5 and 6. So the 5 and 6 now operate on a 20 minute frequency off peak and a 15 minute frequency on peak. Weekends there's a 30 minute on, uh, sorry, 45 on Sundays. Um, but Saturdays are 30 min uh, 20 minutes all day. So yeah, I also increased the frequency and the size of buses on the 9. Again, we were hitting capacity on that as well. The 10 and 10A have been doing well with their citywide, so they are remaining untouched. Again, the 14, another route hitting capacity, so that now has full-size buses. 
The 19 already had full size buses. The 21 was already hitting capacity as well. Very badly, in fact. It hit capacity two days in a row, in fact. Oh, no, for a full day, in fact. Um, and we already addressed this in the previous part, clearly, and I didn't remember that. So, um, shout out to anyone who probably noticed that in the previous <laughs> part, but there you go. Um, so, yeah, this is now fully full size buses. Um, the 88A, we've already done. The 109 is shockingly full-size buses. Look at that. It's actually popular in this game, unlike real life. Now, this could have been improved with a better timetable. Um, however, we are using the Oak Grove climb timetable, so obviously that's not going to be affected. Uh, or not going to be affected. You know, we can't do much about that. But also, the 110 has taken a lot of passengers off this. Now, the 110 was a blasted success right from the start. I didn't actually show this, but it was a great success from the start. So, instantly, it's been given full-size buses, which is fantastic. Um, again, the timetable is still due to interwork with this route, which is good. Um, the 109, so it's about 15 minutes before that um, on all fronts, which is good. So, it's it's basically, it's, it's adding up to be pretty good here. So, I, yeah, I'm very much impressed with how we've got it to now. And so, the 38 could be our first double-decker route, hence we bought this Omni City, so let's just get this painted up. Now, I already have a paint job, or pre-made in-game paint job, I should say, for the Omni City. Most of the buses I'm buying so far, or been unlocking so far, I have done now. I played a lot of saves of this. I play this a lot in my free time, which I've not actually had a lot of in to, like, late J January into March. Now, people have already pointed this out, and it's true, but this is not the best model in the game. Like, it's a shame, because all the European buses get fantastic models, and the ones from the UK, they get models that kind of look like them, but only if you were, like... If the others didn't look as good as they did. Does that make any sense? Like, this is obviously really too fr rounded on the front. It's a bit wide as well, like, this way. Like, I'd say it pretty good to just here. Um, and the back end. I mean, I'm sorry, but... Hang on. Like... That is probably the only bit of this that looks even close to the Omni City. But, again, very curved. Um, it's a bit of an odd shape and a design. But, nonetheless, it's all cool. Weirdly enough, this is the first bus in the game I've noticed that's actually a single door, which is a bit strange. But there you go. But yeah, so we'll use those. They have good capacity. Um, we also unlocked the new Route Master between parts, um, which again, like most people in this game, I don't really see much use for it because I'm not doing a London save. I was doing a London, but even then, it's because it's triaxle. Like, if you guys could just update it to be t t dual axle, I'd actually use them because it would be kind of cool to have like a really high capacity route outside of London with a new Route Master. Look, moving on. Um... Now, one thing we are impro uh, improving on is our daily revenue. We are making £40,000 a day right now, because we're in the back half of the week, but we did introduce two new routes, to be fair, so there is probably a bit of benefit to that. Um, so we just need to get the money flowing in as much as we can. We want to start playing off these loans as well. I did use a loan to organise the fleet a bit, but I then uh, got a, one of the challenges down here, which gave me forty grand, so I paid that back. Um... So we're back to having a free loan ready to go, and we need to just look at paying off these bigger loans if we can. Now we could just leave them there, but it would be nice getting paid off. But before we do that, we are going to have to focus on more Omni Cities in the fleet to expand our 38 uh, chances. Now, here we go. So, these buses here are the ones we've been looking at. And the reason that we chose these, as someone, as Joe pointed out, is these look quite like the renowned bodywork, as we call it, which is sort of just called that because that was the first name given to it. But obviously then, that includes the cadet, the commander, and so on. Like, the front end is kind of still Mercedes, but it has got, like, a right logo, weirdly enough, or looks like a right logo. But this back end, I mean, it just screams right cadet slash um, renown. So I use these to represent cadets and commanders and obviously renowns. But cadets and commanders, um, in the fact that I like to use a lot of extra reaver um, vehicles in my fleet, um, only because I'm based in the Macclesfield area. So, yeah. Now, um, speaking of uh, stuff, I did replay all the Sataras, as you will have seen. So all these BD64s are the ones that are currently owned by Diamond Northwest. Um, and these BJ15s, and one BG15, I believe we have as well, um, somewhere. Oh no, just BJ15s. These BJ15s are your um, current ones owned by uh, Blackpool Transport. Now, the Blackpool Transport ones are actually due for withdrawal very soon, as the Diamond... Uh, the Diamond... The Blackpool... Um, electric zone or the low emission zone has been given the full go ahead which means that they are going to start to phase out the diesels and other stuff from the area now before we do anything let's just have a look at what we're doing here maybe we should introduce this route here maybe we could do that because i think it will work with a seto and it just gives us a chance to get congleton at least at least moving like congleton can at least move and it will connect with that route so for now they'll just interwork with that again we are going to be doing the 38 so don't panic that is coming I promise you, it's like the next thing on my list. I just need to go to here, here, 
just got to go onto here, click on the 38 on here, click Congleton, go to Congleton, and it's the 92, I believe, is the one I need. It's the one that goes by the station. No, that's the one that goes up the top. Is it 91 then? You'll hear these sound effects I said last time. Please forgive me. It, yeah, that's it. The 91 is the route we're going to introduce. Uh, the reason for this is it's a nice um, sort of 20 minute route and it just incorporates the train station and the bus station as well. Um, and it comes up here and it will actually connect with this up here because it goes to um, Mossley Corner and then down to Holton Close. And Mossley Corner is right here. So it just will connect to the route just along here. Um, there actually isn't a stop. There is a stop there. Uh, but not in the other direction, but I've made the 110 stop both ways there. So we're going to introduce that stop on this service as well, just to give passengers more choice to interchange. Now, Congleton the bus station is just here by Congleton Library. So, yeah, let's play around with uh, the 91, shall we? Because we haven't really had a chance. We've been planning to do Congleton for some time, so let's do this. Um, what we're going to do for Congleton bus station, there is free stands here. So we're going to try and recreate that if we can. Um, so we're going to call this Congleton bus station stand C so it goes A B and C so C is used by the local circulars um, in real life anyway so we'll do our best to recreate that in game seems fair enough um, now the 91 uh, actually comes this way on the way in which is quite interesting um, it then goes up to um, Davon Road which is Actually, this way, I believe. Yes, it is here, which is interesting. So it does this way round, which I think is quite cool. Um, it actually goes closer, by the looks of it, to here than there. That's more for the church. Um, you know, moving up, we then go to um, the Moss Inn. Now, it goes... Okay, it's so coming out of town. We're going up this way. We're going around this way. This is where the route is a little bit odd. Um, it doesn't go to the station, but it goes near the station, if that makes any sense. Um, it goes to here, so it's like close to the, main, the, the railway station, so it's like it kind of connects it. Um, but yeah, so it's an, it's an odd route, but it's a good route. It's, it's a cool route. Uh, well, not a cool route, I guess a, 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 an interesting route for our game. Now, I think in real life this actually goes up this road, but we're going to do it. We'll let it do that. Oh, around there to there. And then it goes to this stop. Did I do that? Hang on. Was I thinking of a different route? I'm sure one of them goes to the station. Is it a 90? And I was wrong this entire time. No. I know the 94 does the station. I was just... I'm sure there was one that did Congleton Station. You'll have to excuse me because once again I am... Not actually in the game. I do this quite a lot. I was just while I was there, I thought I'd just check what's on the uh, oh god, on the 38. I like how I just try to zoom in. On, I'm just trying to zoom in on bus times, and every now and then it keeps zooming back out for some reason. What goes to the station? I'm sure one of the locals does. Oh no, it's just a 94. Okay. Well, look. Listen. <laughs> this works. The 94 will provide the direct link. Okay, so down to here to Leak Road, and then it's back on itself to the same stop. So there and there. Now, in real life, this isn't a lighting-only stop, but we'll, we'll have to pretend a little bit. Um, also, I've just noticed, yeah, that bus stop needs to move, the first one. Can I, like, not go there, please? Can I move that? What, do I have to, like, go to here, then click Edit, and then click Delete, and then delete it off the list? Yeah, I do. Fun. Okay, let's just do this quickly. I want this to sort of go into here, if we can. Congleton bus station stand C. Okay, let's do that. Let's delete that off the route and then. Go back to it. And then what I'm actually going to do is coming back, we're actually going to make it go to an alighting point here, which means that the route will then, the bus will go round it. So we'll just call this a uh, Congleton bus station drop off which again kind of does exist in real life actually so yeah upgrade both of these because we can actually upgrade them twice now we'll do that we need to do that to all our stops we'll go through these and we'll um 
We'll upgrade a bunch of the ones we need to upgrade. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so that is that route done. Let's just get the timetable planned in. Pause the game. Okay, Monday to Friday. Uh, it's going to run from 7 till 7. Every 30 minutes. And then uh, Crosslands, which is just after the main road. It can wait there until 20 minutes past, which means it does 24 minutes round trip, giving it 6 minutes dwell time at the bus station. When it gets back, Sundays every 30 minutes from 7 till 6 rather than 7. And again, Crosslands, wait till 20. And finally, Sunday, we'll do an hourly service from 8, from 9 till, f till 5. And wait there till 20. Confirm. Okie dokie. That's cool. And then that means all we have to do is press play. There'll be a shift that will probably come up for it. In fact, no, there won't be because it's gone past the time. But tomorrow, there'll now be a shift in there for it. Okay, so we'll keep the one CETO in this network. We'll see how that goes tomorrow on the route. And then if that copes well on the route, we'll then introduce um, a second one to the fleet as a spares vehicle. So I know I've just sold a bunch, but it's fine because it's, it's good to streamline the fleet and see what I'm actually doing. But I did keep these spaces here in case we needed to keep CETOs in the fleet. And I also... I only didn't sell that one, to be honest with you, because it was already out at the time. But I also had this sneaking suspicion I might have to keep one anyway. So, um, let me plan tomorrow's shifts out. Uh, actually, no, I'll tell you what. We won't do that on camera. We will pause the video. Well, I'll, I'll, I won't pause it, I'll keep recording. But I'll cut away. I will edit the, vid I'll edit the video. I'll do the timetable uh, for tomorrow, so the schedule. I'll do the shift schedule for tomorrow, and then I'll come back to you when I've done it. That way you guys don't have to see me do it every episode because I think you will get a bit bored of it. So I will see you on the other, ha other side of me doing this rather tedious job. Okie dokie, that is tomorrow's shift planned out. Now tomorrow is a Saturday so they're slightly different so I might have to add some more buses to the fleet because there was already quite a tight squeeze on that um, as given that some of the routes run less frequently. So we will consider that. Now I've had to do the 91 with two different buses. One was Cito but also I've used the OU14 plate um, bus, the um, MAN that we have in the fleet, the Intercity. But again, what we'll actually do with that is judge whether we want to use these as the actual vehicle type for it, because I'll get another one of these, or the CETO. We'll keep the Intercity if we don't uh, use them as the bus type, but if we choose like for that route to maybe use the Intercity as like its route type, we'll have two of those in fleet for the 91 specifically, which is sort of nice, gives us a nice easy way to allocate the buses correctly. Um, so not guarantee what buses will be on the route every day, uh, but we do need to, again, as I said, just look at these Omni Cities and try and get some more of these in fleet if we can. Uh, there is another one in here that we could probably try and, oh actually there's another one that we could potentially haggle for 19k maybe, are they going to be nice and take 19 for it, shall we see? Going once, twice. Oh, I love you so much. Fantastic. We have one more to get now, and we can do our 38 route lot. We can introduce the route 38. Um, now, the only reason to say that is because I'm pretty sure we need at least three uh, to introduce the route. I say that. Watch me end up needing four. Okie dokie. Let's have a look. Where are we on this here? This is the single deck. The double decker is here. So the first one was YN07EXG, which is these are, that was a new to Metrobus. Um, let's do YN07, I guess we'll just, should we just stick to the same batch maybe? Yeah, we'll stick to the same batch, so YN07EXH, also one of the ones new to Metrobus. Refuel, cleaning this inside, outside, and then the repair, only these tyres and the wiper, but we'll also do V-belt, brick, uh, brakes and oil while we're there. Because it's not going to be out anytime soon, I didn't click paint, I don't think, but that's fine. The game is really struggling now, as you can see, There's lots of jumping. Oh. Lipinac. Let me just make sure my settings aren't wrong. I do sometimes turn them up between game. I should we'll go low and then we'll turn this to 720. So sorry for the sudden change in things, but it's just to make sure the game runs smoother. Uh, Okie dokie, there we go. Oh, it's still hitching a little bit. I never promised to have a smooth game, did I? But let's try a little bit better. Graphic. Uh, if we go any smaller than that, I guess we could go to. <laughs> what does this look like? Oh god, no, that's yeah. Let's go back, please. Uh, what about that? Oh no. What if we go to? Where's it gone? That's a good. That's always a good size. Yeah, let's try that. Oh god, no. This is weird. I don't like the shape of that. Sorry, this is gonna look really weird. I don't know how this is gonna affect my recording actually. <laughs> Can I go back to that, please? Um, Can I go back to the 720? 
60 hertz. There we go. I don't know how that's going to affect the recording. Well, if that looked a bit weird to you guys, then I apologize. If it looked really bad, I'll have cut it out. Okay, there we go. Um, it's just because there's so much happening right now. If I go into this window, I believe the time would do. The game will still... Oh, no, it's still jumping. or still hitching. That's a bit of a pain. Oh, God. Um, it doesn't help that I've got a browser open as well. I should really close the browser. Um, maybe I will do for the next episode. Um, but yeah, so that's our little upgrade so far. Let me just close this browser. There we go. That's a little better. I can tell a little bit of improvement on performance, but it's not perfect. Um, so, I'm just going to monitor the routes now and just have a look at the busyness now that we've introduced all these new timetables. So, the H1 actually is starting to get less and less popular. We might have to drop the H1. We might expand the H1, actually. We'll see. Uh, the 2 is doing well. The So, they're all doing, like, well. I don't think the numbers are bad, but they're not brilliant at the moment. But I don't know if that's because it's, like, I don't know, maybe it's just a quiet day. But I did improve the timetable, so that's kind of a good thing. We, want, we don't want super high numbers. We don't want to try and reach, like, capacity is... A tar is like a, a limit, not a target, you know? So, having low numbers is good because it means you get better seats. And actually, if you look, we're actually a 4.4 rating with everything in the green on details, which is fantastic. Uh, enough free seats is nearly five stars. We are just over the four-star mark on that. Can we see how exactly how many we have? No. But yeah, so we're, we're just over four stars on that. Now, we need to sort of go through and maintain this fleet a bit because we don't really do that enough. Just refuel clean and all that on there. Bit of everything. Bit of everything. Do, 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 do. Need to get need to look at getting new bus washes. We currently have I think we have three fuel stations, don't we? And then like two bus washes, which is a bit interesting. Um do have expand company premises available, but I don't want to use that too soon because I don't want to lose my money. Or waste my money. So we'll look at that at a later date. Well. I'm really tired at the moment. Um, I have mentioned in a post at the moment, like around this point, but uh, it's been very busy for me at the moment, so I'm shattered. Um, but I wanted to get this recorded while it was on my brain and also while the save was already in a good position to continue the video from anyway. Because um, I think if I can get a nice couple of episodes recorded for you guys, I can then look at doing Open TTD in a couple of weeks, because that should be when I next need to record it. Um, because we're going to be back to gaming. We'll be this by the time this goes live, the vlogs will have restarted. So we're actually doing a week where there's no gaming video anyway. Uh, the week after I'm recording this, so that would have been last week for you guys. So, in fairness, we're looking like we won't need to worry about rushing an open TTD recording. But what I want to try and do, I mean, I, I, now this isn't going to happen. I can guarantee you this because I just know what my brain is like. My goal is to try and alternate between City Bus Manager and Open TTD, um, and. As promised, the Inby Rails will be returning very soon. Um, I am going to get time to play that at some point. So the problem is, is so like with this game, it's you don't have to like it's not a lot of effort to try and do a, a big like to do a step. Like you can always. Why do we just? Oh, our, our wages are pretty just gone out. But yeah, so like and loans. But so you can get a task or a, a step done in this game with somewhat of ease. Whereas NIMBY Rails, like, so what I need to do in NIMBY Rails right now is build the track. So to explain what I'm doing, I'm currently building the line from where we left off at, um, where was it? Basically, the point I was going to, what I've done is built from where we were, I forget which point from, but from where we were, um, that was it. I went up via, like, Bromley, and I built all the track via Bromley and then up to London. And my goal was to, well, my goal is, I should say, to have it built up to Victoria and introduce the first London-Victoria service and then return to the videos. Because um, with London-Victoria added on, you can actually, we can actually play around with some of the services more. So that's my goal with that series. But to do that... I need to, I mean, to be fair, it's a lot to do, but to do that because of the size of the map and how much effort it takes to build all that, um, I do have to wait uh, for the um, free time to do so. So what's probably going to happen is I won't be able to record that till March now, because basically my February is rampant. So to explain what's happening, 
currently at work, um, I have a six day week this week. Now I've got a four day week next week to make up for it, which is fine. Now I do technically have three days off next week, and I'm looking like I won't be able to afford a trip next week, which I kind of need to do one, but I also don't need to do one. I could do a cheap one, which is where I'm going to potentially squeeze it in, because I've got one in mind that's only going to need a Riva Day ticket for the whole trip, and that's like... For the local, like, I don't have to go over the, the full expensive one, I can just do the one that would let me go between Macclesfield and Crewe. And sort of areas around there. Basically to cover the local network. So it's like the £5 or £5.50 day ticket. So that's like, I can do that pretty cheap, so I might actually still record that next week. But my dumbass was sat there before at work thinking this, because I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to go out this Wednesday and my one day off. And then I'm going to go out next um, Tuesday on my day off in the middle of the week. And then go out on... The Saturday, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to be in counselling on the Tuesday. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll just go out on the on the 8th. No, it was the 8th, which is next Wednesday as well. Or whatever it is, next Monday. Yeah, next Monday, that's it. Monday's the day off I've got. So I was like, I'll just go out on the Monday as well, you know, just do everything at one off your But then I just thought before, I was like, but I've got the weekend off at the end of that week. So what I'm actually going to do is take Monday to relax. I'm going to sit down and just relax for the day for the first time in like weeks. Um, but other than that Monday, I'm then busy for the whole month. So there's... Um, Three weeks of work, which are going to be very busy because we've got people on holiday. And then there's a week away with G. Um, I won't spoil where we're going or anything like that. Um, I believe she's already told it on her channel anyway, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So you'll find out where we're going um, when I get, when we go there because I am going to be recording a video from there. Um, and it's one that I'm very, 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 very excited to film. So basically where we're going, I'm going to be doing a video on the bus network there. Um... And I'm super excited to film it. Uh, can I just... Sorry. <sighs> can you not use this one... Like... Let me just get rid of these two. Cause inevitably, a bus is just going to sit there. We would get rid of that. We'll actually... In fact, tell you what. We need a new bus wash. We haven't got the money. But, like... No, actually, no, we won't. We'll wait till the comes in. We make, like... Stupid amount. We only made 29 grand yesterday. Why did we make more the day before? When it was a Thursday? Was that, like, an in-game event or something that went on? I don't know. It's weird. Um... But yeah, so basically my February is freaking rammed, and so I don't really have a lot of free time to film stuff like Nimby Rail, to work on stuff like Nimby Rails off camera. Um, but I will do some work on it, like I said. I mean, it is coming. Um, yeah, this is, right now, this is just a talking session. I'm quite enjoying it. You guys are too. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, let's have a look what we got here. Uh, the 109 is so unfortunately we last terminate the order. You also city Oak Grove. The 109 has been discontinued. Rat. Okay, well. I kind of like the 109 being a thing, so we're just going to reintroduce it, but, you know, as our own route. Which means we can actually introduce an hourly service, so, fantastic. 109. Bam. Uh, so the old timetable was actually 456 to 1856. We're going to go to 1956. Um, and we're going to make it every 60 minutes. Um, and then on Saturday and Sundays, it will be slightly different. So on Saturdays, the game is really hitching. I'm going to have to. My PC needs a restart, to be fair. I've not restarted it in a little while. We'll go 656. 756 and then on both of these it can wait at both Bosley Crossroads till t t uh, 4 or 5 minutes and then at Lakeland Lodge till 40 minutes or till 40 which gives it a 68 minute service in total uh, which is good um, oh yeah actually bringing it back as well we want to stop Bosley Bus Shelter 4 or 5 minutes there we go 73 minutes across so stop there 4 or 5 there 4 or 5 and there till 40 there we go and finally new timetable on the Sunday it will stick to a 90 minute frequency uh, which I think it was on anyway um, it'll be 8.56 to 
six fifty uh, four fifty six, sorry. And for this for some days it'll go nineteen and then at Lakeland Lodge it's gonna sit there till sixty. Well not sixty, fifty, yeah. And then Bosley Bus Shelter for five. But allow bus route changes. Confirm. What is annoying is I'm pretty sure that breaks my shift schedule, so yeah, there's a bunch of new shifts now to assign, and I don't know what drives upon it, but I do know we have a couple of spare ones, bottom here at the moment, um, and we have some spare buses as two, uh, as, as two, as well, uh, let me get my words correct, if I can find them, there is some spares, there we go, so there's some spare Sotaro, so we'll choose a Sotaro, we'll use Sotaro's on the route for now, this is just temporary, uh, yep, we can do that on that too, that's fine, and then... Just go around here, just have a look what else we could put on there. And this wouldn't be free for those. Let's keep going. 1350? 1450. Brilliant. Let's get a fake cadet on there. And where's the 1550 bus? Where's the bus available at 1550? There you go. Nine, 17, 1455, sorry. 55 minute turnaround for that one. There we go. So the 109 is re reintroduced, but it's a new route. So we can go on to here and we can go down to the old 109. This is the inactive one. Client Oak Grove. Delete. Let's see how profitable it is without being subsidized. If we and if we want to keep it going. Well, I guess that's a fair point to round off on. So thank you all very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, why not give it a like and, a, and drop me a subscribe as well if you haven't already when you're down there. If you do subscribe, please turn on those notification bells. Don't forget to check out my social links while you're in that bottom part of your screen as well. Um, my socials are full of great stuff for you to uh, enjoy, whether that be... Um... <sighs> Sorry, I'm just again, trying to do an interesting thumbnail here. Yeah, uh, my socials include various things, including my Patreon, which is a £3 tip jar at the base level, which just is a little way of supporting me extra. Or you can pay a little bit more, £6 a month, and you can get some early access content. In that case being, all the videos will be alive for you two days early with a link on Patreon. You also get potential collaborations coming up in the future. Um, I am trying to decide what my first collaboration with you guys on Patreon will be. Or so something, I don't know. Let me go what you guys want to see if you're on Patreon and you're a super fan tier. Or even just on Patreon and you have some suggestions, just drop them. Um, on the page. Past me keeps rambling away, of course, shout out to the two super fans and longest serving Patreons of Colin Barrow and Ian R. If you want this shout out, the super fan tier also gets you this. And we'll discuss it. I will see what we can come up with. I will think of something. I do like the idea of, you know, interacting with you guys properly. Um, and I think it's good to do so in a nice, healthy environment like in a place we all enjoy, whether it be with trains or buses or whatever. I know that buses are a bigger thing on my channel actually as well, so maybe I'll prioritise buses over trains, we'll see. Um, but again, drop me, we'll go on Patreon, we'll do some polls, so why not support it? Um, if you can't afford that, by all means, just give me some free support. Like I said, a like, a subscribe, they're all very much appreciated. Remember that every little number that you put towards this channel shows your support and just makes me remember how much you guys are enjoying what I do. Now vlogs are back you'll know this by now um, if you guys enjoyed the first two vlogs don't worry because the new vlogs are hopefully gonna be even better quality than last time I've not actually edited any yet but I'm hoping they'll be better quality and what is gonna be fun for you guys is so this video will be going up a couple of weeks before a brand new series which is coming to the channel so please if you are interested do subscribe down below and keep an eye out for this series it's a slightly more professional style series but it's gonna be a really good series for you guys because I think it will be really beneficial for people that don't live uh, around this area. But I'm not going to spoil too much. Check back for it. I'm going to finish rambling, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.